Okay, so this is a second problem, and I'm going to solve it in two parts. So this is the first part, the vesper shapes. Okay, so let's look at this, the first atom, uh, first molecule, which is an antimony in the center, and we are surrounded by six chlorine with a negative charge. So where is an antimony is R? It's right here. This is in the column, fifth column. So uh, to first of all, you need to figure out the Lewis structure. So antimony means five electrons, and then chlorine, which is located right here, which means a seven. So that's a seven, and then you have a negative charge. So one electrons there. So there are six of them. Is here. So therefore, what that means is you have a five electron in the valence shell. And you have a 7 times 6, which is a 42 electrons, and you have a 1 electron extra. So you add them together, and you got 48 electrons. And then what do you do? You remember the how you put uh, antimony in the middle, and then you are going to put chlorine. To make it into a molecule, the minimum single bond is needed, so you want to make 6 bond. So 48 electrons, you are using 6 uh, bonds, which is a 12 electrons are being used. So you ended up having 36 electrons. And the 36 electrons, now each chlorine must satisfy the octet rule so by assigning 3 lone pairs. Each one will have satisfied the octet rule. So I have a each color in need of six lone pair electrons, three lone pairs. That means six times six electrons from lone pairs, right? So that's the 36 electrons. So that makes it 36 electrons, and you have nothing. So nothing for the antimony in the middle. And then we're going to put this one, and, and it says a minus one charges, and the four more charges of antimony in the middle is a minus one. So the four more charges you can calculate from the other exercise, and but I, it's not the focus up here. And then we are going to count the number of electron group. Okay, the electron group is essentially number of lone pairs, number of bonds, right? So how many lone pairs and how many bonds do you have? So those are the numbers. And that determines the geometries. So uh, elect number of electron groups here. Lone pair uh, under antimony, there is none. There is no lone pairs. But how many bonds do you see? Six. So the number of electron groups here is six. And the 6 EG means octahedral, octahedral geometry. Okay, so this is a OH is a what people write it, in. and and so octahedral geometries, and then uh, oct among the octahedral geometries. Uh, so the octahedral geometry looks like this. You, you are going to draw the square planar looks like that. And there is a 1 going up, there is a 1 going in the bottom. And the uh, antimony sits in the middle, and the chlorine sits in the four square corners and axial position up and down. That's uh, octahedral geometries. Octahedral means eight faces, and this one has uh, eight faces that is all symmetric. And now uh, it says this is all bonded, so I'm going to put the bond there. Maybe I, I'm going to delete the, the what has I shown before, and uh, maybe I can put uh, different colors. So this was a square planner, but I'm just drawing the black line as a bonds. And uh, having said that, uh, people are drawing this molecule as uh, one that these two bonds are going away, so away from the plane, so they put a dotted line like this, and then these two planes are essentially sticking out of the plane, so this is drawing like this, 
and the actual one stays like here chlorine 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 like this with the negative charges antimony in the middle and then that's the overall phosphor base shape so now uh, this is a geometry what about the shape shape is based on the bonding only here is a case actually everything is bond all the electron groups are bond so this one does have a same geometry and same shape which is an octahedral okay octahedral shape so that's the first answer for for this one is an octahedral that's an octahedral uh, shape for this molecule what about the second one, which is uh, NO2? So N is, you know, is a 5. O is 6, right? So we just have to do the same thing as we normally do. Uh, so let's use the same color. Uh, nitrogen is 5. Oxygen is 6, valence well, electron. You have a 1 electron left extra, which is a negative charge. There are 2 two of them. So that means 5, this is a 12, this means 1. You add them together, that, that make you 18 electrons. And then what do you do? Uh, you're putting the nitrogen in the middle and oxygen in the outside and you start to make a bond first. So that's uh, make, uh, you're using the two bonds, four electrons, so they ended up having 14 electrons left, and then let's say I'm doing the same thing, I'm uh, going to focus on outside first, oxygen must satisfy, so this is by doing so, I'm using 12 electrons and the two electrons left over, so I'm going to do that, that's a 14 electrons, so this is on a 14 electrons, and there's nothing left okay so that's the first at first sight this is the one and then you're going to finish the resonance structures before uh, we are talking about geometries because this is all related to this is the former charges of minus one former charges minus one let's look at this so this one is first of all this is a six electron not satisfying the octet rule. So you already think that, oh, I think that I can move these two to share, forming a double bond. Still, um, it is a win-win situation because central atom now feel like having eight electrons, and uh, oxygen in the on the left uh, will have a former charges of zero. So that's a good thing. And But as of now, um, so therefore, uh, by doing so, oxygen with now two lone pairs and double bond with a nitrogen with lone pairs with oxygen with this one has a former charges of negative one and by doing so everything satisfied octet rule former charges here is a zero and if you look at the former charges of this one that satisfied octet rule 5 minus lone pair, there are two electrons. How many electrons in the bonded electron? There are three bonds, six. So uh, 5 minus 5, that will be zero. So there's no former charges on, on the oh there. So if there's no former charges, let's just do not say what's the former charges. That means the is a zero form of charges and overall this one has a minus one charges and that's what what they are and uh, now I am going to use this highlighter this is a whether it's a single bond or not you have a one bond two bonds okay and then uh, you have a one lone pairs right so in number of el electron domains so now number of electron group electron domains is one lone pair two bonds right so that makes it three so if you have a, a three uh, electron groups you are likely to form the this planar triangle structures uh, I want to 
probably I want to put it something the lighter color because that's the one that I think is easy to to see so let's say I am going to use something like this so I'm going to use something like planet triangle and then I'm going to put the actual atom which is a nitrogen stay here and let's say you're going to put lone pairs in here you're going to put your oxygen here you want to put your oxygen here with a double bond and a single bond and this is uh, essentially a lone pairs in a, in a position uh, on that so uh, then you will finish up like this you want to finish up like that so uh, geometry wise uh, planar triangle but now in terms of the shape of the molecule I only count for the what is known as the bonds so this bond and this bond and based on that it is a bent molecule right so triana, uh, planar triangle however the shape of this molecule which is we only count this one only this one is just uh, the locating that so therefore the bond orientation wise uh, it is bent so that's that's the answer okay so what what a long uh, story but this is a bent molecule to do the, to do so okay so this is the first part and then I have uh, that is up to here and this is the second part that is up to here so I have solved here of antimony hexachloride and then this is uh, NO2 minus and the, their shape is octahedral shape this, their shape is a bent but the story behind this is octahedral electron group geometry And this is a, a planar triangle, e.g., electron group geometry. Okay, so but the, the shape wise, it is a bent shape. Thank you for your attention. I will solve the rest of two in a separate video.